All right, artists, to start our snow globe, we want to start by creating a elongated rectangle on the bottom of our paper. Now we can start with pencil first. So get your pencil handy. You'll want to have pretty long two parallel lines at the bottom and then two vertical lines that connect that, okay? Then you want to add the almost circular, but not quite because it's going to connect to this piece here. So make it pretty big, okay? Make sure it's somewhere in between the middle of this rectangle, elongated rectangle here, okay? And then we can have this little piece here. This is where you can label the snow globe if you want. You could have a cute little saying inside it. For instance, we could write, let it snow. Let it snow, let it snow. Something cute in there. And we'll get to go back and add color to this here in a minute. Okay. Now, like um, some of the images that we looked at, snow globes can have lots and lots of detail in them. Okay. And, and I normally, you see them a lot during Christmas time. So if you celebrate Christmas, you could have the theme be a winter wonderland with Christmas trees with lights on it or a snowman, okay? I might do both. I might do a tree in mine sitting on a pile of snow and then I could have a snowman over here. Remember, to make a snowman, you have to go from biggest to smallest circles. They kind of stacked on one another. Then I could have them have a hat on. A carrot for a nose. Coal for eyes. Maybe a tie. Sticks for arms. Diagonal lines and three little sticks there. He could have buttons on his belly to look like he has a long jacket on with his tie. And then you can go back and we can add more detail with color later. Also on this tree that I had started here, I used two lines for the stem here. And then for the main body of the tree, I could do kind of a curved line or a straight horizontal line, two diagonals. It's like making a zigzag line, but it gets smaller and smaller for the pointed part. So zigzag, and then it connects to that point, okay? So maybe if you have a Christmas tree at home, you could practice looking at that Christmas tree too to see what you guys have on your tree. So maybe you have a star or an angel on the top of your tree. You could have Christmas lights. I like to do my Christmas lights by first starting with this string, looking like it's wrapping around the tree. Forwards. And backwards and then my little lights most of them I like to do little ovals or I could do kind of almost like the leaf shape like they're pointy so I like to do square first and then kind of a little pointy and they can go all different directions
So maybe you have some ornaments you want to draw. You could even add some little presents under the tree. Something else you could add. You could add um, snowflakes. So when you look at snowflakes really close up, there's quite a bit of detail in them. Um, to make them simple, you could just do a simple X and then another X. And then you could do little circles on the ends. You do a couple of small ones here and there. Because snow globes either have lots of glitter or lots of little snowflakes inside. So we might even draw little dots. So we're going to color this in really nice and neat. I might first actually outline with a black uh, marker or Sharpie or crown. Remember, you will need your scissors handy for this project because we want to end up making this snow globe look like 3D, like it's popping out at us. So that's why we need this long band because we're going to cut it out and we're going to glue it together. Okay. Let it snow, let it snow. Okay. So I'm outlining them real quickly. And then I'll get to use my crowns and color them in nice and neat. Or really whatever I have on hand. Maybe you just have crowns. Maybe some of you guys have colored pencils you want to use for these. I'm gonna go ahead and actually outline my snowflakes with blue. Maybe do a couple little specks of blue around to represent small snowflakes or glitter. Take your time, no need to rush. So I really want you to take up the good, a good amount of time. Because we've got 40 minutes of class. Okay. So the lights, you guys could use multiple different colors on your lights. I'm gonna do yellow, crown. Then I'm gonna color in my tree. I'm gonna use green crown for my tree to make a little bit of texture on my tree. So it kind of looks like greenery. Some lines going different directions to make it textural. Now the trunk of our tree would be what color? Brown. So if you have a brown available, brown crown, brown marker, whatever you got. Might make my snowman hat purple. You guys get to decide what color you want it. It's got a tie on here. Purple tie. And a carrot nose. Some sweet orange nose. To make the snowman even look more round, you know what we can do? We can practice the word value that we've been working on. Take a blue and curve it around the belly, the circle belly on all of them to make them look more round. Remember the harder you press, the darker the blue and then you can lift up and it will kind of blend in. You can 
do the same with the snow. Add a little bit more detail. Add a light blue to the background if you wanted to. <clears throat> and also to make it look more like glass, you could even add a couple little lines to indicate that it's glass in a couple areas if you want to. Star, I can add some color to top of my tree. I might make this little let it snow look gold. All right, so the next step you will need your scissors and your glue stick for this part. Cutting it out nice and neatly. Along the outside line of the circle globe. Along that elongated triangle, uh, not triangle, rectangle shape. And to make it stand, what you end up doing, you put a little glue on this strip of paper right here. And you connect these two together. Get it pressed down a couple seconds. So then it can stand up like so. So it looks a little bit more round. Ta -da. Very cute. Can't wait to see these from you guys.